Hello friends, welcome to the channel, Electrical Deck. In this video, let us learn about, Ideal Transformer. The word, Ideal Transformer, is quite, different from, other practical transformer. Let us, start the video. At first, what is an, Ideal Transformer? An, Ideal Transformer, is an, imaginary transformer. In which, it consists of, zero copper losses, in both, primary, and secondary winding. It means, it windings as, zero resistance. There is no, iron losses, in the core, of the transformer. That is, zero, eddy current, and hysteresis, losses. And the, magnetic flux, produced, by the, primary winding, links, with the, secondary winding, without any, leakage flux, in the transformer. The core, of the, ideal transformer has, infinite permeability. The infinite permeable, means, less magnetizing current, requires for, magnetizing the, core of transformer. If the above, conditions are, meant by any, transformer. Then the, transformer is, said to be as, ideal transformer. Actually, it is, impossible, to build, such an, transformer. But, the model of an, ideal transformer, makes problems easier. Hence, it known as, imaginary transformer. Now, let us see the, working principle, of an, ideal transformer. The working principle, of an ideal transformer is, similar to an, normal, practical transformer. The basic principle, on which the transformer works, is, Faraday's law of, electromagnetic induction, or, mutual induction, between the two coils. The transformer consists of, two windings primary, and secondary, placed over the, laminated silicon, steel core. When the, AC supply, is given to the primary winding. An alternating flux, pi, is set up, by the primary winding. Now, this flux, flows through the, core of the transformer, and links with the, secondary winding. As a result of it, an EMF is induced, in the secondary winding, according to the principle of, mutual induction. The amount of induced, EMF, is equal to the, rate of, change of flux. But here, an ideal transformer, gives an, output power, exactly equal to the, input power. The efficiency of an, idea transformer is 100 percentage. Since, there is no loss, in any part of the transformer, as the wastage. Now, let us see the, working model, and characteristics, of an, ideal transformer. Here, consider an ideal transformer, with supply, connected to the primary winding, and the secondary winding is left open, without any connection. Here, when the supply, V1 is given, to the primary winding, current I, flows through the primary winding. As the primary winding, is purely inductive, that current lags 90 degree from the supply, voltage. This current produces and counter self, EMF. E1, induced in the primary winding. The direction of the induced, EMF, is inversely proportional, to the applied voltage, V1. As the secondary winding, is open circuited, transformer draws an, magnetizing current, I, M, which produces a magnetizing flux, Pi, M. This flux, Pi, M, flows through the core, of the transformer. Now, this flux links, with the secondary winding, and induces an, EMF, E2, in the secondary winding, according to the principle of, mutual induction. Now, let us see, the, Fasser, diagram, for an, ideal transformer. Here, the supply, voltage given is, V1. And the primary winding current, I, M lags behind the supply, voltage, V1, with 90 degree. The magnetizing flux, pi, M, also lies, in phase with the, magnetizing current, I, M, 
the primary induced, EMF, E1, is inversely proportional, to the supply, voltage. That is, 180 degree, phase difference, with the supply, voltage. The secondary induced, EMF, E2, also lies, in phase, with primary induced, EMF, E1. The transformation ratio, K, for an ideal transformer, is same as, normal, practical transformer. But here, due to the, absences, of, losses, in the transformer. The power input, V1, I1, is equal, to the power output, V2, I2. That is, P1, equals to, P2. Let us see, the difference between, ideal, and practical transformer. The efficiency, of an, ideal transformer is, almost 100 percentage. But, the efficiency, of an, practical transformer, is always, less than the, 100 percentage. There is no, iron, losses, in ideal transformer. In practical transformer, core losses are, depends mainly upon, amount of supply, and frequency, given to the transformer. There is no, leakage of flux, in transformer core, in a ideal transformer. In practical transformer, some amount of flux, is wasted, as a leakage. Copper losses, in the windings of the, ideal transformer are, absent. Power is, wasted as the, I square, R, loss, in the practical transformer. Ideal transformer, is known as, imaginary transformer. Practical transformers, are originally, exists. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. And, don't forget to subscribe us, for more electrical stuff.